welcome to the Batrium Longmon cell monitor installation video. Here we're going to be showing you how to properly mount your cell monitors to your battery pack and also how to connect the data network that comes from the Watchmon supervisor talking through every single cell monitor in a pack. So here we're going to have seven on this side which is for the seven cells here. This is a 14 series battery, so you have 14 cells. You have another seven monitors. They're gonna be mounted at the back, looking after the back cells here. One cell monitor for each series of the pack. So here we have one large big cell, but this could be monitoring a large pack with like 100 cells or a much larger battery. Here is a quick close up on your long bone cell monitor. It's actually divided in two sections. To your left, you have the resistor bank here, and you have one temperature sensor. That's the area that gets hot up to 75 degrees. From your red LED up, you have all your cell monitoring area. That's where the communication happens. That's where it measures the voltage, it stores the cell configuration. There's another temperature sensor here for ambient, or you can actually attach near the cell, so it senses the cell temperature. And you have two LEDs. As soon as you connect the four pin connector here and powering up the cell monitor, solid green stays on for a few hours. And then when you connect the communication here, it's blinking. So that now it's talking to the watchmore supervisor. That's how you see the communication is happening. It's working based on the green LED pulsing. The red LED here, it means two things. If you solid red on like this, it's actually in bypass mode, so it should be 75 degrees Celsius. Do not touch if you see red LED on. If it's quickly blinking, so it means that there's something wrong, too high or too low voltage or too high or too low temperature, there's something out of the parameters you set here. So red means warning. The cell monitors, they actually get really hot up to 75 degrees, which is hot to touch. So you don't want this heat actually touching and baking your cells, right? So you're going to be lifting off a little bit with something like this or any other thing you can be creative there. We actually mounted all the cell monitors in this piece of plastic core fluid and they actually raised up, not touching the cells. I'm going to be showing how I made this thing. Do not use hot glue gun to attach your cell monitors to anything. 75 degrees, it's a lot of heat. Hot glue would definitely fatigue at this temperature. Installation is actually very, very simple. If you don't want to zip tie your cell monitors, you can actually use a double side tape. So this is a nice one. Try to pick a brand one, like a 3M Scotch or something like that. So this is the area where you're gonna be applying the tape. And be careful, do not put too much pressure. Remember, you have some electronics underneath the epoxy here, so it's a bit delicate. You can use either zip ties, double side tape. I'm gonna be zip tying them together. Don't go too hard, just enough, just to lock it in place. You see, it is a bit loose. You don't want to be crushing any components under the epoxy here. Cutting extra cable tie. And then I'm going to be doing the same for all the cell monitors here. <laughs> Right, so here we have a close-up of the cell monitor cables. So it's a four pin in one side, and then on the opposite side is actually a communication cable, two pin connection, a red and a black ring connectors. We're actually gonna be wiring up all the red and black to every single cell. So you first start with this, and then later you're gonna come and connect all the little connectors here. In this case, we have 14 cell monitors for 14 cells. We're going to need 15 cables. So your kit actually comes with the extra cable so you can complete all your setup here in a daisy chain network. So you see the top, this is the negative side of this particular cell and the positive is in the bottom here. So negative on top, positive in the bottom and the next cell is actually the opposite. The negative side of the cell is actually facing down, positive is facing up, the cells are connected in series. Again, negative on top on the next one, positive in the bottom. So that's how we're going to be wiring up one by one. Then we're going to come and start doing the connection, the pins and starting with the daisy chain network. <laughs> Thank you. 
now you see that all 14 cell monitor cables are connected to the battery terminals. Now it's time to mount the cell monitors to the cells. So now you see here we have 14 cell monitors ready to go here mounted on the battery pack. We have all 14 cell monitor wires connected to each uh, battery terminal. You see red one to the positive, black one to the negative. You actually received 15 cables like this. This extra cable you have there, you're actually going to be removing the red and the black set of wires from your four pin connector. Just hold the four pin connector, remove the wires here, and then you're going to end up with something like this. You just keep the blue and then yellow wires. Daisy chain network starts on your supervisor and actually send all the way through the cable here from the four pin to the very first two pin connector of the very first cell monitor on your battery pack, starting from the negative side of the battery, okay, which is this one here. This cell monitor is actually monitoring this cell. So we're gonna be going from the four pin here to the two pin. So now we're gonna be powering up four pin connected to this one here. Right, you're gonna see, yeah, there's a red light. Now we're gonna be linking the network to the next cell monitor, which is this one here. And then we're gonna be doing the same thing to the second cell monitor here. We're gonna be powering up the second one, second cell powering the second cell monitor, and I'm gonna be linking this to the next cell monitor, which is cell monitor number three. Same for all 14 cells here in this battery. Now we're bringing the network communication to the very first chipping on this other pack. So you just go here, and you connect, and do the same process over again here. So you see your daisy chain network starts from the four pin and works all the way around the pack and comes back here to this two pin that goes connected here and fits back to your watch mode supervisor. Green light should come up as soon as I connect to this connector here. Okay, so three, two, one. Yes, so that means that your daisy chain network is uninterrupted and passes through all cell monitors here. Removing the little connectors require a bit of attention. The very small wires, small crimp, small connectors, so don't just go and pull by the wire. It's quite fragile, it's not gonna survive if you do too many times like this. So ideally you're gonna use, I don't have much nail, but I use my nail to support the connector here. And I use my thumb to support the connector here. So, and I still holding by the wires, but I'm actually using my nail to pull apart, okay? See, it comes out easily like that. And I kind of pull in this direction, so it feels a bit easier. Not too much, just a little bit. And the same goes for the two pin connector here. Cable management is something really important, especially in very small packs like this. You end up having lots of wires everywhere, a big mess. It'll be hard for troubleshooting, figure out which wire goes where. Okay, so you need to keep on top and keep things very nicely organized like this, okay? So here there's some suggestions. You can curl it up like this, but you still, you know, it's quite high here. Something that can get caught and disconnect things by accident. Or the other option here, is actually tuck everything back here behind safely and keep things very low profile here. See, all nicely organized. Cable management, really important. You don't wanna have something like that. Here's a quick troubleshooting video using the green LEDs in each cell monitor and also the green LED here on the watch mode supervisor, right? So this actually tells if there's any problem with the whole network and here you're actually gonna see where the interruption is. So if I remove this two pin from this particular cell monitor, you're gonna find that everything stops from here onwards, okay? Yeah, so you see here, all the network keeps talking all the way here. Here's where the interruption is. And here you see the green LED is now turned off. So you're gonna go and check here. Oh yes, it, that's where the problem is. You're gonna go and you're gonna fix this, plug it back, you're gonna notice the LED is blinking here. Yeah, so now everything is back to normal and your network is perfectly working now. You have a lot more troubleshooting documentation on battery.com website and you also have some troubleshooting videos here on YouTube. So this completes your battery long installation video.